All right, let's look at non-flat mirrors, spherical mirrors. Here I have actually two of them. I have a hemispherical shell here that's shiny on both sides. So on this side, the convex side, all of the images that I see are upright. That means that they're virtual. If I take a sheet of paper like this and move it around, I cannot catch any of the images on that sheet of paper. If I move it to the other way, I see something really funny here. I see that there seems to be, and we should look at my real finger here, there seems to be a circle inside of which everything is clear, focused, but upside down. And on the outside, we see stuff that's uh, kind of distorted, very distorted, and uh, in fact is right side up. Now, I'm gonna take my finger here, and I'm gonna bring it closer to the surface of the mirror, and you see that the finger is up, uh, upside down. The fingernail in real life is on the top of the finger. The image has it on the bottom of the finger. When I bring it to this point right here, the whole thing explodes and I have uh, flesh color all the way in. Now if I bring it even closer, I should be able to see an image in which my fingernail is on top of my finger again. So what's going on? When I have convex mirrors, I get virtual images like what I see in the middle there if the object is far enough from the mirror. But if I get too close, I get, vir I get real images. And just to illustrate that, I want to show that if I bring this piece of paper in here, at some points, yeah, I see a little bit of light uh, on the sheet of paper on its left edge. And right there at the edge, uh, the corner again, you see a good deal of light as well. That means that I have a real image where I can capture the image on a sheet of paper.